Tyler, all the big points are left. Tell us where next. Um, ride bikes. Ride bikes, yeah. I cautioned him about wearing a helmet. He said he didn't. I hope you do in the future. That's always a good practice. You're playing a good game. You keep it up. Helena, nice to see you here today. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I usually like to play with my little brothers and sister. Ah, what are their names? Um, Rex, Regis, and Rachel. Wonderful. So you have a big family there. And uh, what do you want to do when you get older? Um, I want to be a pediatrician. Yeah, in fact, uh, Princess on the other team, we're going to talk to her in just a moment. She, too, wants to be a pediatrician. And I know you're still trying to evaluate because there's so many things out there to do. We won't hold you to that if you change your mind. Nabila, nice to have you here today. You're a reader for sure. What do you like to read? Um, I like to read um, Magic Tree Houses. Mm -hmm. And I like to read the American Girls Collections. Yeah, that's, that's extensive, isn't it? There are a lot of different stories. Uh, we are familiar with it here because we did a story about the author of the American Girl series. What do you want to do when you get older? Be a doctor. Doctor. All right, so we have a doctor, a pediatrician, and a fastballer here. Okay, let's go. 85, Valley View 80. Last correct answer came from the red team. Tyler, all the big points are left. Tell us where next. Um, Science Potpourri for 10. Science Potpourri for 10 points to start us out in the second round. Teams, those little yellow envelopes called Splenda also say that the name of the substance inside is sucralose, which tells you that what's inside is an artificial what? Valley View. Sugar, that's right. It's an artificial sweetener. Good. Green. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, the Japanese art of bonsai is miniaturizing trees. Trees that are miniaturized not by pruning the branches, but by pruning these. Valley View. The stems. Not the stems, not the stems. Oakland's miniaturized, miniaturized trees, the art of bonsai. Trees can be hundreds of years old, but only this high. That is accomplished not by pruning the branches, but by pruning the what? Roots. The roots is right. Yes, indeed. Good. Go. Um, Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, the television show, The Deadliest Catch shows fishermen out on the high seas trying to catch very large versions of this familiar Maryland crustacean. Tyler. Crabs. Crabs, the king crabs. Big things like this. My goodness, they're huge. Go red. Uh, zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. Seems interesting question. Camouflage suits the animal. If you're a predator like a leopard, spots work because you're still waiting for the prey. But stripes work for this kind of predator because it runs after things. Tyler. Tiger. Tiger is what I want to hear. Absolutely right. Good. All right. Red again. Dateline Science for 10. Dateline 10 points. Teams, this country recently was only the third nation on Earth to send up an astronaut on a spacewalk. What country was it? Valley View. Russia. Not Russia. No. Oakland's only the third nation ever to send astronauts on a spacewalk, did so recently. What country was it? China. China, absolutely right. Uh, uh, Dakota, that was a good answer. Russia and the U.S., of course, were the other two. China is now part of the astronaut walking club. Red. Uh, Dateline science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. It's a multiple choice question. Our intelligence officers say that the nation of Iran has 4,000 centrifuges which can help them make nuclear weapons. Do centrifuges, which is a type of scientific apparatus, do they mix, separate, or liquefy chemicals? Centrifuges. Do they mix, separate, or liquefy chemicals? Oakland's. Separate? Separate is absolutely right. They're real fast, and they separate the heavier from the lighter portions of materials. Red Green, you're 50 points back, Valley View. Zoo mm -hmm. Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points, teams. Even though the giant panda is not a primate like we are, it still has an opposable one of these digits. Thumbs. Valley View. Thumbs. Thumbs, that's right. They have thumbs. Good, go. Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo prayed for 25 points. Teams, look at the monitor, please, in the studio for this. Down at the Smithsonian, there's a new aquatics hall, and you're looking at a right whale hanging from the ceiling. Look at the size of that thing. There is now an issue before the Supreme Court trying to decide whether or not the U.S. Navy can continue to use what kind of communications device that may be harming those whales. Oakland. Sonar. Sonar. Yes, sir. Good answer. Go. Um, by system for 20. 
body systems for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. BUN, BUN, stands for blood urea nitrogen. It is a number that indicates the health of what paired organs in your body? Oakland's. Kidney? Kidneys, absolutely right. The paired urea was your clue there. Urea as in urine, as in kidneys. Red. Um, size potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, this goes way back, long before you were born. There was a singer called Paul Anka, and one of his songs said, Mama, please don't take my Kodachrome away. Kodachrome referred to something that Kodak made back then. What did he want his mother to leave alone, Oakland's? His camera? His camera, that's right, your camera. Long before digital cameras, we had these Kodak cameras and Polaroids as well. Go red. Body systems, 25. Body systems, 25. Come on, Valley View, jump back in. Body systems for 25 points, the big one in that category. Teams, indications are that you are running a fever or have an allergy if the number of these in your bloodstream is quite high. Quite high. Valley View. What do you think, guys? Try it. Plasma? Not plasma. Good try. That is part of blood. What in your blood, a large number of them, would indicate that you're running a fever or have an allergy, Oakland? Blood cells? Specifically. White blood cells. White. White is what we were looking for. Good try. Good try. Try again, red. Um, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, this organic chemical compound is something we're all trying to reduce our use of. We're driving less, we're flying less, so that these footprints that we leave are smaller. What kind of footprints? Valley View. Carbon. Carbon yeah. footprints, that's exactly right. Thank you, Obina. Go, Dakota. Um, let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25 points, teams. In the nation of the Philippines, 30% of their energy comes from hot rocks deep in the earth. It's a kind of energy we call what? Tyler. Heat energy? More specifically. Um, radiation? Mm, not radiation. Good try. Valley View, energy that comes from hot rocks in the earth in the Philippines is a form of energy that we call what? Any idea? Geothermal. Geothermal energy. Less than two minutes in the game. Go green. Um, Dateline science for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. An interesting study recently found that people who use expensive placebo medicine actually feel better than people who use cheap placebo medicine, which is kind of strange because placebo medicine is what kind of medicine? Valley View. Antidepressant? Not an antidepressant. Good try. Placebo medicine, whether it is expensive or cheap, really makes no difference because placebo medicine is what kind of medicine, Oakland? Generic. It's fake. It's fake. It's no medicine. It's like a sugar pill. Go again, please. Green. Um, science Pope Brie for 25. Pope Brie for 25, the last one in that category. Teams, the Hadron Particle Collider in Switzerland that is smashing protons spins them around an oval track at 186,000 miles a second, which is equal to the speed of what? Valley View. Light. Light it is. In the last question of the game, date line for 25, I will read it. It is still in play. Last question of the game. Dutch scientists have recently decoded the DNA of the antibiotic penicillin, which is made by ki what kind of F-initialed mushroom? Valley View. Fungi. Fungi it is, absolutely right. And with that, we come to the end of the game. We will go back and check that score and be back with you in just a moment. Kabila and Tyler and Helena and our alternate, Tiffany Makaya and Miss Bay. I know you're happy and proud of this team. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. See you next time on Science Bowl. Bye-bye.